The effect of wind on an aircraft is to make its actual track differ from its heading by a drift angle delta. After a time interval, the vectors representing air mileage and wind mileage may be added to give the aircraft's position. Now, suppose that a bomb is dropped when the aircraft is at this point, L. The bomb's initial airspeed, which is the same as that of the aircraft, will be continuously reduced by the air resistance. When the aircraft has covered this air mileage, the bomb will only have covered this distance. The wind, however, has the same effect on both the aircraft and the bomb. So, adding the same wind mileage vector as before, we get this position for the bomb when the aircraft is here. As the wind mileage vectors are equal and parallel, this line is parallel to this one, the heading of the aircraft. And this angle is equal to the drift angle delta. Thus, as the bomb falls, it trails back along the heading from the aircraft. By plotting its position at equal time intervals, we obtain the path of the bomb over the ground. When the bomb strikes the ground here at P, the aircraft is at point M, which is known as the whole range point. This distance, MP, is called the trail. It is resolved along and across track to give the track and cross components of trail. This distance is called the forward throw. It is equal to the distance from the release point L to the whole range point M less the track component of trail. The vector distance from the release point L to the point of impact P can thus be specified in terms of forward throw, a long track, and cross trail, a cross track. You will remember that when the operator brings a response under the markers, its coordinates X and Y are set up on the marker potentiometers. These coordinates are converted by the steering circuits to track range and cross range. The problem of dropping a bomb onto the target is solved in three stages. First, the forward throw and cross trail of the bomb are calculated. Secondly, cross range is compared with cross trail and the aircraft is steered on such a track that they are equal. And thirdly, track range is compared with forward throw so that when the two are equal, the bombs are released.